In the late 1970s and early 1980s, I attended the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts in Philadelphia. One of my classmates was an incredibly inventive and charismatic artist named Harvey Weinrich. It has been 29 years since we graduated, and recently I visited Harvey in his studio loft apartment to catch up a little bit. When did you know you were going to become an artist? I was always making art, you know, even as a kid, so uh, it just seemed just a very natural. So did you go to the Pennsylvania Academy right outside of high school? I did, yeah. Uh-huh. And we, we uh, were classmates, and we had some pretty extraordinary uh, times in the old that, days. That and, is so true. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for years, you showed at Roger LaPel. What's the story there? He really believed in my work, and um, he showed me for years, but I was never one of his big sellers. So, uh, and I think um, that eventually like, weakened that as a place for me to show. Um, I, and the type of work he was is showing there doesn't seem, I don't really feel like mine fits in there so well anyway. And so now, um, unfortunately, I'm looking for a new venue. Well, you know, the whole art world is kind of collapsing. I don't care. There you go. I don't care because uh, you know I, the, 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 all I want to do is show the work. I mean, I, I mean, it, so that's why the coffee shops and places where it's they're not worried about making a profit off it are of interest to me as well. Um, I just want to share ideas. Have you had um, a difficult time financially b because you chose to become an artist as opposed to a doctor or something? Well, yes and no. I mean, because I, most of my life I've worked a full-time job, so I've had some kind of steady income, which I realize is important for me. And What's your job now? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a mural artist and, and art instructor with children. Did you not have a stroke a few years back? I did have a stroke. Um, what was? How did that happen? What was the? Well, I was um, I was working on a mural on a ceiling, um, and it was very hot, and I had rode my bike a long distance and. I just went weak on my right side while I was up there painting, and uh, and then I uh, was sort of out of it for three to six months before I could get back to doing things again. You see, there's like no sign whatsoever of you have, having had such a traumatic. Right, um, I've made almost a full recovery. And is there um, every hope that you'll be okay? Or I think so. I feel. Um, I know certain things now. I know to keep myself hydrated and um, uh, control my alcohol intake a little better. And um, maybe a better take, diet. Take an aspirin a day. Better diet. I'm doing all that. I'm generally pretty healthy. Okay. Do you exercise? My job is very physical, but I've also started uh, specifically exercising. What, what do you do? Uh, right now, I'm just doing um, uh, push-ups and uh, stretching and some yoga exercises and. I've started doing some jumping jacks and stuff, and I'm very interested in uh, inverting my body upside down. And uh, so I've, I've ordered a, uh, a, conver a conversion table um, where, where you can do exercises while you're hanging upside down. So, have you thought about maybe doing artwork upside down? Sure. <laughs> uh. People pretty much turn their heads like it's upside down anyway. So. Sexuality has been a big thing in your painting since I went to art school with you. Can yeah. you talk about that? Well, it's it's just another aspect of, uh, of life, and it, it slips into my paintings. And, and I'm also I'm infatuated with what beauty is and why we react to certain things. And I like to uh, capture images of things that I react to. And it helps me think about what, what beauty is, and I wonder what other people think. And um, so that's part of my language. I was very interested in like when we even can detect who is male and who is female when you're looking at something like a close-up of the fabric and then you, as you back up away when you say oh you know you, you wouldn't know at first but of course there's plenty of paintings that do not have any sexual content. John would you mind if I asked you to step back a little the camera's so close to the... thank you. <laughs> I got into making videos for a while. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I, Chemistry of Love. I used to show it at the Kennel Club. I made a whole series uh. of videos. And uh, made some with uh, Trip, made some with Edgar, where he was the 
subject. So I was very interested in videotography and film for a while, but then I felt like I wanted to do things with actors and, and it was getting too big for me and I didn't have, couldn't control everything and I decided that uh, I was um, more comfortable in the painting sphere. So I kind of um, weaned myself off of that. So you have never regretted becoming an artist? No. Do you have any advice for young artists? I mean, it's not advice so much, but it, from my experience, for me, like, I went through a little period in my life where I thought, I, I, like, I'm going to be successful and make money from this. And then um, I realized somewhere down the line, like, that doesn't happen very often, and it doesn't happen easily, and, and it doesn't always happen to the artists who are the most talented or this or that, and it, that's not a reason to be in the game. So... And for me, it was already like the area where I felt the most confident and the most control and freedom over what I was doing. I mean, people are always telling me what to do or how to do something. And it's like, you know, when it comes to the painting, that's fucking mine. I do what I want. I say what I want. Nobody can stop me. They don't have to look at it. But, you know, and that's really special to me. Harvey, thank you. Thank you, John. More than I can tell you. I th you are one of the most fascinating artists I've ever known. I thank love you. your stuff. And thanks. I wish I had a beer. A beer or a beard? A beard. You'll, you'll grow one. I've had one for years, but I just shaved it.